Hey there, welcome to my psychic studio. Won't you come on in and join me for a cup of tea? Let's drink it to you and find out what's going on in your teacup and also pull a few tarot cards to see what the month has in store for you. So my name's Stella Wild, and this is my lovely assistant, Ariel. And both of us, we have a mission to bring you the intuitive information you need to manifest your wildest dreams. So I'm going to be sipping on this cup of tea, Cancer. Mmm. While I do your tarot reading to see what is going on for your month of September. All right, Cancer, let's get into your reading. I'm filming this on the day that the moon is in your sign. I love when that happens. September 1st, Moon and Cancer. All right, what do we have for you for the month ahead? We have the Hermit. And we have the Two of Cups. Okay. Interesting. So there could be an important meeting with a Virgo. There is an important meeting in Virgo season with the Two of Cups here. There could be some sort of agreement you make with a Virgo about a matter this month as well. Hermit, of course, Virgo energy is your third house if you have Cancer rising. So with the Two of Cups here, there could be really some important conversation that you have. And since the Hermit is showing up, it could be a life-changing conversation with somebody close to you or somebody that you'd like to get to know better. That's possible too. I got to pull some more cards, but there seems to be a very, very important meeting on the horizon. Now, of course, Virgo Hermit energy can also be about health and healing and well-being that's part of virgo's energy as well um this can also be so it could be important meeting with a healer a doctor that type of thing there could also be an important meeting um having to do with a service provider service person since her, you know virgo energy rules that as well all right let's see what else we have all right we have the world energy showing up the star wow and the three of pentacles okay so, wow. So depending on your personal situation, you know, this meeting may have something to do with wrapping up a situation in your life, whatever that means for you, so that you can get on a more aligned path. We have the star, the next level of your soul destiny unfolding. We have the three of coins, which can be about creativity of course as you can see she's doing some sketching in this card but it's also about strategy it's about a plan it's about an outline it's about getting your act together and getting things organized so you can get the show on the road so there's something here where you probably you could be meeting again with somebody who's going to give you advice on how to get this plan in motion you could be meeting with somebody who's going to help you get publicity in some way for your business, particularly if it's a spiritually or service oriented business with the hermit here. Uh, we have just some really beautiful energy. World, of course, is one thing ending another beginning. There is within the world card the circle here, which is the zero for the fool. So there is a new beginning that's coming out of some sort of cycle that's wrapping up the in virgo season um we have strong energy full moon energy happening in your ninth house of pisces uh at that full moon in virgo which is over here um so that's the big picture of your life i think you're really looking to that with the star here the bigger picture of your life the path ahead where do you want to go what do you want to do particularly with maybe some sort of career uh, excuse me creative talent you may have and should you turn that into a career or not? That's possible for some of you. Um, but it's really about how do I get the next stage of personal growth, fulfillment, and uh, you know, path, soul purpose path underway for myself? What's the strategy I need to do that? What's that going to look like? So with the world card here, I always find it fascinating that she is naked, <laughs> you know, because... It does suggest that it is time to strip off the old uh, outward masks, clothing, uh, identities, so to speak, so that you can be reborn with the water and the star card, which, yes, is about healing, but it's also about refreshment and water is about the, you know, 
the spiritual idea of baptism into the new life, right? So we definitely have energies here about uh, allowing yourself to be renewed, refreshed, wrap up one thing and begin something else that, yes, indeed, could be actually a lot more healing for you as well. So some of you too, it's about getting a plan together for your health, some of you. Um, you know, really, how can you support greater well-being overall in your life? And some of you may need also an artistic and creative outlet to perhaps alleviate some worry and stress that you may go through, hermit. The other thing too is some of you are also wanting to leave behind some aspect of your life that has had uh, a disconnect from other people. So you may indeed want to be... Um, connecting with more like-minded people, however you can do that right now, depending on where you are in the world. I know with the current situation. So you could be wanting to take a class with other people because you're craving that connection. You want to be around like-minded people, the star card here also. So you're maybe seeking to expand your world in that way on a personal level also. Um, some of you too, depending on your personal situation, um, you may be really wanting to connect with, uh, and, and in a romantic sense, one of these signs that we have here, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, particularly Aquarius, since we have this represented here as well. So some of you are tired of being alone. This is a hermit in a personal sense, because the two of cups is showing up here and you really would like to be reborn in a healing way when it comes to personal connections and relationships. I would say with the three of coins here, the, the place where you're more likely to meet someone is in some sort of hobby group uh, and or a work environment. Does not have to be at your job. It's often not good to mix business with pleasure, of course, but, but maybe in your job environment, if you're actually going to a place of employment, a lot of people are still working from home, but um, you know, in some sort of collective atmosphere, shall we say, where something practical is being done, usually within the arts of some kind. All right. So it is time, you know, there's something here really about expanding your world in some way, um, because that will bring uh, refreshment to your life with the star card here. And uh, like I said, a lot of you, you just don't, you don't want to be alone. There's been too much being alone. All right. Wow, Cancer, you have an interesting, a very interesting cup, okay? You can see that you have a big letter C in your cup, okay? Uh, which could stand for Cancer. Um, most of the energy is collected over the sun. Here's the moon. The sun is over here. Here is, I think that's, what is that? That is Saturn over there, okay? So we have the letter C. So somebody with the letter C in their name, any type of name, first or last name with the letter C could be important to you this month. Um, because this energy is clustered, clustered over the sun primarily, there could be, seeds can also be a crescent moon, like a new beginning. So there could be some inspired new beginning for you, which ties in with the tarot reading, um, especially to do the sun with your personal goals, ambitions, your physical body, physical energy, your essence, so, and we had that with the star card and even the world card here. So there could be some personal goal of success that starts materializing for you this month with this energy. All right, so that's very nice because crescent moon, beginning. Now, we have um, some interesting energy that's collecting in the beginning of the crescent over here. We have some stuff hanging out on the star, which is beautiful. Right. So some sort of renown success uh, that really is in the beginning stage, because notice that there's not a huge clump over here. The bigger clump is over here. And then we have two over here. So we have something that really starts, I think, taking off for you this month. Uh, some, you know, some long cherished uh, desire starts uh, starts manifesting. But over this cross here, we have some some energy and this cross can be about not pushing yourself too hard, all right? Um, just taking care of your physical body. That's gonna be important for you in the month ahead because you have a lot going on. You have a lot of energy in your saucer, which we're gonna look at. We have four piles, four and a half piles of energy that we're gonna discuss. You have a lot going on. 
and it will all get done, but you've got to pace yourself, okay? Now, notice too, we have two clumps here on the envelope. So I do feel like there's going to be two good pieces of news coming in for you in the month ahead, probably related to this new beginning with the C, and also maybe something related because it's attached to the star related to your whatever this success is that's starting to, to come to fruition. All right, so very, very nice energy. Um, we also have at the bottom of your cup, I don't know if you can see it, there's a bird here looking at the nest, all right? You have a bird looking at the nest. So, so for some of you, and it's at the bottom of the cup, so that may be more toward the end of the month, there could be matters concerning your children, concerning your nest, you know, where you live, who you live with. You could be fussing, you know, the birds looking at the nest. You could be fussing, in, of course, your, your best and most lovely Cancerian way over the people who matter most to you uh, in your world. That's very possible. Um, so there, there could be things really concerned with home and family. But again, I think that's going to be more toward the end of the month because it's on the bottom of the cup. It may even be more into next month. All right. But, um, you know, so there's something going on there. Like, I feel like you're going to be like hovering over your nest, <laughs> you know, like maybe uh, do I dare use the word micromanage? Maybe micromanaging something going on in your home. OK, that's fine. All right. Now, we also have a little angel. There's a tiny little angel over here. I don't know if you can see it from my vantage point. It's a little hard to see. There's a little angel there. Um, so there is there is spiritual guidance, maybe even a little fairy, you could call it. Um, there is help from fairies all the time, angels all the time. But in particular, there may be one that um, is really trying to get your attention and give you some guidance about maybe something to do with that home home matter because it's near the bird. See, the little angel's over here and here's the bird. So for some of you, this could be, depending on the personal situations, general reading, this could be some new angel that's getting ready to come into your nest. All right, work with the metaphor. So this could be a new grandbaby. This could be a new fur baby. This could be, it's a new soul. It's a soul energy, a soul getting ready to come into the nest. All right, that's for, so for some of you, that is possible. We also have a little squiggly line up here, more toward the beginning of the month with your luck. So there could be, there could be a little piece of good news, again, luck related. And by luck, it's, it can also be just things that are flowing nicely. This can be, it's just a little squiggle. It could be like you win $10 on a scratch off. It's like that type of thing. It's it's just pleasant and nice, you know, <laughs> it's on there, you know, so there's something something good. Um, interesting that we have a one-eyed cat. So cats in this uh, symbology can represent independence. But since it only has one eye, there's something here and, and it's right in the eye position. There's something here about you only seeing one side of a particular issue or situation in your life. So you might want to maybe look at somebody else's point of view. So you could be very like seeing something with very one sidedly, shall we say, in your life. And it may have to do with your own independence in some way or striking out on your own or something like there's something here you know, about considering somebody else's feelings that you might want to just keep top of mind as well, okay? We have a little dot here in the Mercury, you know, there's a little thing going on here, so there, and it's a fairly big dot. So there could be some sort of interesting new idea that comes up. This is more toward the end of the month for you, um, you know, that comes in. I mean, this is, I mean, it's not super significant, but I mean, it's there. Um, let's see what else I wanted to discuss about this. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see what else we have. Let's discuss your, your saucer because that's really where a lot of the action is. <laughs> it's a, every reading is different. Okay. So I don't want to tip this too much because uh, there's liquid on here, but you can see there's four, there's four piles. So let's let's analyze this. Well, actually, actually four and a, and a quarter because there's another one over here by Capricorn, right over here. That's the Capricorn. 
So we have a big, it looks like a big log, a big torch that is in the Leo area. So this is something you could have started and, you know, you ignited the torch. You lit the torch to start something in Leo season um, that you're going to continue to work on and develop. Now, the other possibility in this month, the other possibility is that because this is this is fairly big. Leo is if you have, of course, cancer rising. Leo's your second house of money. So there could be something going on here with either big money coming in or big money going out. All right. So there could be there could be some home related expense like we had with that bird with the nest situation. That's possible. Um, it's going to depend on your personal situation, but definitely your money house. There's there's a lot of energy focused in this Leo in the money house. OK, then we move over here. We have some the Scorpio and it looks like a heart that's going on over here. So there may be some emphasis on, um, you know, a relationship with a Scorpio, the relationship with your creative life and creative projects and wanting to start some sort of project, which is what we had over here with our projects. Uh, and we had Scorpio energy with the world you know, to work on some sort of um, creative project that's near and dear to your heart. So you're going to want to focus a little time in on that. Now, notice the heart's not that big. These other things are bigger that's going on over here. OK, um, then we have a little thing going on over here in Capricorn a little bit. So there could be something, a relationship, um, you know, dealing with relationship matters this month. I don't think it's anything problematic. It's more toward the end of Capricorn season. So I'm going to say this is going to be more toward the middle end of um, also of uh, September. Um, but there could be there just could be something that you're going to need to deal with at that time. That's what kind of these because these clumps don't really look too much like shapes, so to speak. So when I just have a clump of something, it's more like it's something to deal with. It's you got something on your plate. All right. Um, then we have energy happening over in on the cusp of Aquarius and Pisces, this pile over here. Oops. So this pile to me, it looks a little like a frog. Um, so there could be some healing that you need to do. That's what frogs are about with your ninth house matters, Pisces, which is about uh, the bigger picture of your life. And that has also, of course, you know, surfaced here with this. And how you're showing up in the world so you may want to the frog is also a symbol of uh it is a good a symbol of good fortune but it can also be because frogs are associated with water can be a symbol for tears and healing through just you know having a good cleansing cry getting it out and then you feel 100 percent better so there could be something that you're kind of needing i'm not there's nothing bad here it's just you know, there's tears are not bad, right? Tears are very cleansing and healing. So there is something here that again, because it's the Pisces, it's the bigger picture of your life. There may be stages because you may be leaving something behind. There'd be some natural little like tears that happen as a result, but they're healing. And with the frog here, the release of whatever this is, is going to bring you something better. We know that from the star here. All right. Now, we also have the big energy that's accumulated is in Aries, which is your 10th house of career and a little, and some in Taurus. So your career and what's going on with that is likely to be of high priority this month. Um, also, because this energy is, is, is coming up so prominently, next April and next May are going to be important for you as well. They are connected to whatever else is going on this month. So as an example, with all this energy happening in Leo, if you're spending some money on fixing up your nest, shall we say, you may decide next, you're doing that because you may decide next spring, which is the energy right in here, you're going to be selling that nest. You see, there's an energy connection. That's what I'm talking about. But for others of you, it's really just going to be that you want to manifest some sort of wish, that's your 11th house Taurus, in your career zone. So you're going to be working really hard to manifest that energy this month. So there is a, probably going to be a lot of work on your plate.
So Cancer, thank you so much for joining me for your tea and tarot. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the new reading. I love you guys. I hope you have a great month ahead. Take care. I'll see you again soon. Stella Wild signing out.